so I read in the news that um, when uh, Chief Sunday who was on his way to Lagos to have a meeting with uh, the Afeni ferry leaders, that the police they they tried to ambush him, to arrest him secretly. Can you imagine? Why would they try to arrest him secretly? If they don't have a hidden or evil agenda, why are they after him secretly? Why can't they come in the open or invite him? And why, what are they even inviting him for? What has he done to them that they are after him? The man has done nothing to them. The man only won, only won kidnappers, the, the headsmen that are kidnapping people. To leave, to leave, to leave Ibadan, to leave his father's land. Eh? And they are causing so much havoc. Those headsmen are causing so much havoc. They are kidnapping people, raping people, killing people, asking for big, big ransom for a uh, ransom. And then instead of the government to go after, instead of the law enforcement agent to go after these headsmen and these people that are, that, that are breaking the law, they are after an innocent man. An innocent man that is living his life. What has he done? Because he is he's, he's peak. Is that why they are after him? What is all this? How is this? How is this democracy different from military rule? This is unfair. And Nigerian government need to know that the whole world they are watching. The whole world is watching. It's not fair. They cannot go. They cannot go after after the kidnappers. Look at the, the children they kidnap in Niger State. They cannot go after the kidnappers. They are negotiating with the kidnappers. And then they are, they are not after ordinary citizens. People should not talk. This is unfair. This is very, very unfair. This is not good enough. We don't want war in this country. We don't want, we, we don't want problem in this country. If they want to split this nation, they should split it in peace. They should not split it by shedding blood. The former president Jonathan, he decided to hand over this 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 this, 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 this government to 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 to, to, to Buhari because he doesn't want problem. He doesn't want to shed innocent blood. And now they are he, he, Buhari is there now. Then they are shedding innocent blood. This is not fair. This is not good. Let us remember what happened to the southern and northern Sudan. Let us remember. If war should start, a lot of people will suffer. Let us remember ordinary people. Let us remember ordinary Nigerians. If problems should start, there is no guarantee that 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 that, that, that even the houses are safe. The houses might be thinking they have the upper hand. The northern Nigeria, <coughs> excuse me, might be thinking they have upper hand. They might be thinking that they have they have they have stored enough weapon. But it might fail them because the international community will arise and they will intervene. The international community they have more sophisticated weapon. They can watch from afar. They can do anything from afar. Please, northern leaders. Please, please, please have mercy. Have mercy. Stop this wickedness. Stop this wickedness. Please. Stop trying to silence people. What is all this? Let us allow peace to reign. Let us allow peace to reign. Why are they trying to arrest, arrest, uh, arrest, arrest, uh, arrest on the Igbo? Why are they trying to arrest him? They are killing people. Yes, men are killing people. They are kidnapping. They are raping people. They should keep quiet. People should keep quiet. People should not talk. This is not fair now. Please. Please stop this. Remember that someday we will die. We will all die someday. This power that is intoxicating everybody. Someday we will die. Remember that there is God. There is God. Truly, truly, there is God. If there is evil, there is good. If there is good, there is God. Because no one can do good without the help of God. Please, let there be peace in Nigeria for Christ's sake. 
northern leaders remove your hand from this wickedness stop it it's not fair when you stand up for peace stand up for peace in truth don't speak peace on the television and plan for war behind let there be peace in nigeria if you want to split this nation please go ahead and do it but do it with peace do it with peace please if you don't want if you don't want the southern or or, 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 or the southern people to rule you or you don't want the eastern people to rule you then you divide you have the power now but do it in peace for christ's sake for crying out loud do it in peace All this should not be happening to us in Nigeria. Nigeria is supposed to be a, 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 a paradise in Africa. Nigeria has the money. Nigeria has the wealth. Nigeria has all it takes to make it. Can't you learn from, from, from other Islamic countries? Can't you learn from Arab? Can't you learn from Dubai? If Dubai, they are, if, if, if you are planning atrocities like this, will Dubai be standing as it is? And then you go there for vacation, you are seeing all the goodies in Dubai. You cannot come and make it a reality in Nigeria. What is this world all about? Please. Please. Let there be peace. We are begging, we are pleading. Let there be peace. Nothing good comes out from war. Nothing good comes out from fighting. Nothing good comes out of making problems and causing trouble. The innocent children will suffer. Please, let there be peace in Nigeria. Let there be peace. Let there be peace for the sake of your children. For the sake of your unborn, grand, un unborn grandchildren. Let there be peace. Don't wipe out the generations of your children. Remember what you sow, you will reap. You might not reap people, your children will reap it. Let us sow the seed of love instead of seed of discord. Please. Please. Crying out loud. To all the leaders, from the north to the south to the west, please, let there be peace. Let there be peace. This man is not making trouble. This man does not hate Fulani people. Neither does he hate Muslim. It's only saying people should stop kidnapping. What are we gaining in kidnapping ourselves? If we continue like this, Nigeria will be broke. Let us protect the interest of ourselves and the interest of other people. The, the interest of your children. Let there be peace in Nigeria. <laughs>